So, I'd like to begin by introducing you to the task. It's called Demonstrate Understanding of Carbon Cycling. Now, I'm sure you've looked at the water cycle before. The carbon cycle is just another one of the Earth's many cycles. Of course, this is an achievement standard at level one. It's worth four credits and it's internally assessed. What's important with the carbon cycling achievement standard is that you give examples. We want you to take those examples from the dry valleys of Antarctica and also the Antarctic continent as a whole. As ever, we're aiming for excellence, so we want you to show a comprehensive understanding of the carbon cycle. So I'd like us to begin by thinking about tourism in Antarctica. Of course, a holiday in Antarctica would be a trip of a lifetime, and there are all sorts of reasons why people might want to go. It might be to look at the uh, history and stories of adventurers such as Scott, Shackleton and Amundsen. It could be looking at the wildlife of Antarctica, the seals and the penguins and the whales, a chance to see icebergs and glaciers, and to be in an environment which is pretty much free of human influence and impact. I've got available a few brochures for you to have a look at so you can see what kind of things people do on these holidays. So for this task I want you to imagine that you work for a travel company. You work for Icefest and as a tour guide you're going to be taking people from Dunedin perhaps via some sub-Antarctic islands all the way down to Ross Island and it's from the base in Ross Island that various excursions will take place for tourists to see and explore Antarctica. So this is Ross Island and located about here is Scott Base. It's from Scott Base that you'll be heading over to Taylor Valley and this is Taylor Valley here and Taylor Valley has a visitor area for excursions. This map shows a little part of Taylor Valley. We can see here a lake, Lake Frixel, which is frozen during the winter months of course, but in the summer the margins of this lake will melt. Also we've got Canada Glacier and as you can see the Taylor Valley Visitor Zone just butts up against this glacier and there's a small helicopter landing site where you'll land with the team of tourists. And it's at this location we'd like you to explain the carbon cycle as it pans out in the dry valley of Antarctica. So we're now back looking at your NCA task. And what we want you to do is to thoroughly explain how carbon is added, removed and stored in the carbon cycle and for merit and excellence it's really important that you show the links between these three things. So how are you going to show your knowledge and understanding? Well the assessment product that we're thinking about here is a poster or a brochure but there are other ways that we can assess your knowledge and understanding. You might want to produce a video or you may want to stand up in front of your task and do a, a talk or presentation. So you need to check in with your teacher to see what way you got your assessment is going to be used. So the first part of your task is going to be the research, the investigating. You need to learn about the carbon cycle. What we've developed is a web page and that web page will give you all the information, all the resources you could possibly want so you can understand the carbon cycle in Taylor Valley. Now the research itself is not assessed and you can carry out this research as a class, a small group or on your own. What's absolutely essential is that you make notes as you go and those notes need to be made in your own words rather than just copied. So stay organised and make sure you've got a portfolio of notes. Now the task provides you with a framework. 
of what you need to do to show your comprehensive understanding. So you need to think about carbon in the atmosphere. You need to think about carbon in living things. That's the biosphere. You need to think about carbon in land. That's the lithosphere. And you need to think about carbon in the ocean. That's the hydrosphere. I'm not going to go through all these questions now, but you need to look at these, understand what they're asking, and make sure you have this resource just sitting at one side while you're going through your research. So we're now looking at the second part of the task. So this is actually producing your resource. So obviously this is the component that's going to be assessed, and it's really important that this is an individual effort. The work needs to be your own and in your own words. So this is what we're looking for here. Now of course your teacher will tell you how much time you've got to do your research and how much time you've got to actually produce the resource. The fact that the materials available on the website means you can do your research pretty much anytime, anywhere. The task tells you what you need to include in your assessment product. So there are a number of bullet points and I'd ask you to follow those to ensure that you show a comprehensive understanding. Best of luck!